Malt tart. Don't we all just love it? I'm going to show you a really simple and easy recipe that might just taste better than your omas. I'll start by heating up 500 ml of milk, one cinnamon stick, and I think here's the trick, some Robertson's nutmeg, and 80 grams of butter, just so the spices can really infuse the milk. Then I'm going to separate eggs, we just need three, and we're going to use the whole egg, but for the filling we're only going to use the yolk. I'll just add a pinch of salt, 50 grams of caster sugar, and about 60 ml of cake flour. This, you can just give a good stir. As soon as the butter starts to melt, and you can start to smell this beautiful cinnamon and nutmeg spices, I'll remove the cinnamon stick. And then we'll start by just slowly pouring in the milk. We'll start slow and then you can just speed it up towards the end, just like so. Now all of this needs to go back into the pot just to thicken. Okay, so when it's nice and thick like that, we'll just decant it into a separate bowl. And then before we cool it down, I'm just going to top it with some greaseproof paper. And this we do just to prevent a skin from forming on the top. It just needs to cool down for about 15 minutes in the fridge. So our custard is cooled down now, all I need to do to finish our filling is to whip our egg whites to the soft peak stage. This I'm going to fold in carefully into our custard mixture. This goes into our tart case. I've preheated the oven to about 180 degrees Celsius and this is going to go in for about 30 minutes. So our milk tart's done. It will puff up like a souffle and just settle a little bit again. That's completely normal. All we need to do now you sprinkle it with some extra cinnamon. Can't wait to taste that. 